Hello everyone, and welcome back. I know I said I was actually going to collect Shockeros off camera, but then I realized that I was already at 20 with the next Shockero that I collected. Um, so we're actually good on Shockeros this time around. Uh, oh yeah, real good on Shockeros if we collect all those right there. Um, so, this is probably the most fun part of Shatterback Point. Jump at your own risk. Yeah, we're so going to, because this leads straight down here into the East Reservoir Lake. And so we can easily get to Prince Sidon just by jumping down like this. Floop! Nice dive, Link. Nice dive. Very nice dive. Head and head on over here, and shoop, almost missed. <laughs> Hello, C Don. Saving. Here we go. Glad to see you're ready to go, Link. <laughs> Are you ready for this? Do you have your Zora on and enough shark arrows? I'm ready. Wonderful. You never cease to amaze, Link. Now then, let us go and appease that divine beast as one. Here we go! Wait a second, now that I look closer, I see that you are not wearing your Zora armor. As you have no shockers and your Zora armor, we cannot possibly hope to appease the Divine Beast. Please hurry and gather what you need. Oh, I figured it would just let me equip the Zora armor when I got into it. Alright. Uh, we don't want the Zora helmet, we just want the Zora armor. Alright, let's try this again, shall we? Is it gonna play the same cutscene over again? I just see you're ready to go, Link. Ha ha! Are you ready for this? I'm ready. Wonderful! You never cease to amaze, Link. Now then, let's go and appease that divine beast as one. Here we go! Gaze now upon the divine beast's back. Water is just pouring out of this thing. You see those glowing pink orbs? You'll need to shoot each of them with a shock arrow. With your Zora armor, you now have the ability to ascend waterfalls. So I shall take you right up to the side of the Divine Beast, and from there you can swim up and take aim. I know you can do it. I believe in you. Now hurry up and get on my back. I'm ready. Good answer. Let's get going. Okay. Here we go. Ha! I am unstoppable in the water! Ruta is responding to our presence. I'll move away and wait for an opening before we approach. And keep going at full speed. It's up to you to ward off Ruta's attacks. Are you ready? The fine beast of our Ruta will undoubtedly use its ancient and mysterious powers to attack us. It includes hurling giant ice blocks that we'll need to watch out for. So leave that to you. The fine beast of our Ruta. Alright, so I have a whole bunch of arrows. Just for this occasion. Because basically, I just need to hit those with regular arrows. Here you go. As opposed to shock arrows. Alright, here we go. Shock arrow time. And we're going to climb the waterfall. And go slow-mo. And shoot it. In fact, I might be able to shoot too. Nice. Very nice. Oh, that was great. I was able to shoot two of them at once. Oh, these ones are pain. These ones you have to attack from freaking behind you. But at least they're relatively easy. Um, I think the other way to deal with this is Cryonis. We're getting ready. Can I hit them both again? Here we go. Let's find out. I'm going to try to hit both of them at the same time now. Just like I did last time. And just end this right now. Boom. Boom. Get it. Nice. Nice. Wow. That was astounding. An absolute thrill. Nice. 
I can't believe I managed to hit both of them both times. Oh, that made that fight so much easier. <laughs> that fight gets ridiculous if you do it one orb at a time. Link, look! The water spouting from Ruta has slowed down. Ruta is floating higher now. We want to venture inside, right? I'll bring you closer. We're counting on you, hero. Do good work in there. <sighs> Here we go. Divine Beast Varuda. Well, this is it. This is the second one. Looks like this is where the real work starts. Best of luck. Nice job cutting off the water flow from this divine beast. Show the enemy no fear. I'll see you back at Zor's domain. Farewell. I get out of here before Varuda wakes up, just like all the others have. See? Waking up. Finish the job. Oh boy. Divine Beast Varuda. Electric Choo Choo's. When you attack electric Choo Choo's, they explode in a burst of sparks. Use this to your advantage to shock nearby enemies. Swimming in cold water will lower your body heat and cause you to take damage. Cooked food and special garb won't help you. Beating horses will follow pathways without being told to. This is kinda awesome. So, okay. gate registered to map. Mifa Ruta can be freed of <coughs> control. You'll need a map to prevent you from getting lost. Oh god. This part. I'm about to show you why I went through half of this dungeon without a map. I'm about to show you why I w ended up going through half this dungeon without a map and then got confused on how this whole dungeon worked and why I couldn't get anywhere else. So, as you can see, there's malice around. That's not a big deal, you know? Simple problem, simple to take care of. Shoot it with, shoot it in the eye. Or it would be if I knew at the time that I could do that. Did not know. But that's not why I didn't know how to get through here. This is almost a, this thing is slightly a pain to work. Because the motion controls don't cooperate quite right on that. Like you want to just rotate the thing because that's what's going to rotate it, but the whole camera just goes everywhere when you do that. So you get slightly authenticated. Don't give up. So there's one terminal done, and that was easy to get to. Uh, we have this great big wheel up here, as well as a few other things around here. Um, but what? confused me and what made me go through half of this dungeon without a map here is I'll show you after I get this chest here ancient spring nice well it's kind of dumb kind of embarrassing it's this here's this gate I can't get around the gate I can't open the gate I don't see a the switch, I don't see a lever. I forget. 
that Cryonis is a thing that I have. <laughs> yeah. So I ended up going through half of the dungeon without it because I kept searching for a way to get to the map. <laughs> All I had to do was use Cryonis. On the other hand, as soon as I got hold of the map, I went, Oh. Because, as you saw in the previous dungeon, there are Divine Beast controls. Didn't know this back then. And thus, did not realize that Good. I could control by the Divine Beast. The Divine Beast. You will see several glowing points on your map which represent the terminals that control Ruta. Take Ruta back by activating all of the terminals. Be careful. All right. So we have one of the terminals already. And we can reach another terminal by going this way. And this is kind of when I learned that I could kill the Malice. Um, was in this dungeon. Because I had actually gone to Hyrule Castle at one point And had like avoided going around the Malice and stuff because I didn't know I could just kill it. Um, hello. The Fairy Guardian Scout Mark II. Can always tell what they are based on how they uh, activate. So this requires Cryonis here. It was perfect timing. I definitely timed that completely wrong. <laughs> Wait for the uh, terminal to come around. Be able to hit it now. There we go. I can get to the terminal. This is, I think, the easiest of the four divine beasts. Because, again, I did half of this dungeon without even knowing that I needed the map. I literally, I got to three of the terminals without even needing the map. Um, so, eh, what can you do? Also, this is another piece of malice that I didn't uh, understand. That said, I need to take pictures of what comes out of this guy's mouth. So this is the only spot that you can uh, get pictures of these guys. Well, you can in one of the other Divine Beasts, too. There it is. Curse Moblin. And I don't think the Lizalfos comes out of it. I think it's just those two. Nope, there it is. There's the Lizalfos. Alright, now we can go ahead and uh, kill the thing. Now we've got all of the cursed enemies in our compendium. So, those things don't drop any loot, unfortunately, but it kind of makes sense since they infinitely spawn. So, there's that. This thing, this is when I got confused. I was like, how do I get to this, you know? How do I make this do anything? And it's actually pretty simple. This ball just has to connect into there, and then that activates that. That's literally it. That's literally all there is to it. But how do I how to make this thing move? Well, that involves the thing that I had not known about. <laughs> the controls. By moving the snout of the divine beast, water pours. Um, actually have it pouring the wrong way, I think. Don't remember. I think I do. There's a direction in this that makes this a lot easier if it's pouring in that direction. I don't remember what that is. Well, let's go ahead and just lock that in right now. 
Basically, we just have to stasis that. And there we go. It's the third terminal. So I did have it going the right way. Okay. Remaining. Most remaining. You're nearly there. there we go. If I stasis this. Oops. Hang on. To continue around. I actually need to go all the way around again. So that I can hit the stasis on that. So. As you can see, this is moving up and down, and as long as both blocks are there, I can't actually reach that chest. However, just like everything else in this dungeon, we can, in fact, stasis the top block, allowing everything else to come down. As long as you're quick enough, you get on, open it, and uh, then get off so you don't get crushed. Because that will hurt. Um, you're pretty much good. There we go. That's actually one of the treasure chests that I didn't get the last time I did this dungeon. So that's cool. Alright, now comes the fun part. Oh, I didn't know there was malice on there. How about that? Cool. I didn't realize there was a malice eye on that. So now, I didn't even realize there was a treasure chest on there. I wonder if the chest fell or if it's actually attached to that. Well, I guess we'll find out. Yep, it's actually physically attached to that. How about that? Alright, let's hop up here. And as it rotates around, we will be able to get to the chest. Just have to wait for it to be uh, flat enough so that it will let me open it. There you go. Fire arrows. That's cool. Um, actually, I just missed that. I missed to get up there. How about that? <laughs> uh, well, let's go back around. This way, actually. So there's where we fight the boss. Just like before, the main terminal. Where we will fight yet another form of Ganon. This whole game is all about Ganon. Just Calamity Ganon. And all of the bosses are some form of Ganon, which actually... I know some people didn't like, but I thought it was actually really interesting that they did that. You know, it's the first time that we've had, like, the main villain, like, throughout the whole freaking game, basically. You know? And that's basically what's going on here, is the main villain is... You know, showing up and being active through the whole game. By having each of the bosses be a piece of him, you know? So, personally, I thought it was a good touch. There we go. So for Rupee. And also, I should turn on my Sheikah sensor to treasure chests. There are treasure chests nearby. Cool. Because that will tell me when we have all the chests in Divine Beast Varuta. So there's that. We don't want to leave any treasure chests behind if we can avoid it. These treasure chests in the dungeons give you really good stuff. Like I got an ancient core, for instance. And that is super useful. Two. Goodbye. Already have you in my thingy. Now I should be able to uh, climb up that waterfall, which is hilarious because I totally forgot that I could do that the last time I was playing this. Um. I did not have the Zora armor equipped at all during this last time. 
So, I kind of forgot that I could just, you know, Zora armor up. Uh, this is the hardest part. Honestly. This part. We need to bring the schnoz down. And there are two terminals remaining at this point. One all the way at the end of the schnoz here. And one that is mm, all the way up on the top of the Divine Beast. Uh, kill this thing before it spawns too many of these. Oops. Oh, that worked in the end. <laughs> Ancient shaft, and it is still detecting a treasure chest, so there are still more to find. Um, yeah, the hard part about this is getting to the top of the nose, unfortunately, because it's not easy. Get the trunk. So this is Sheikah technology, you can't just climb on up, of course. Oh shoot, I think I fell too far. I did. I just fell all the way down. This is the hardest part, right here. There is, at least as far as I found, no other way of doing this part. <laughs> and that's unfortunate. Actually easiest from here instead of from the treasure chest. You have a little bit more room when you're standing here as opposed to standing on the chest. So... And I have to jump and glide! I might have made it. If I land on this thing just right, I can just climb up the rest of the way by just running. I've done this done it this way before. This is how I got up here last time. It's not working right now. Oh shoot. Well, alright. Ugh. I hate this part. <laughs> so much. You have to get on the very top of the Divine Beast. Because by getting on the top, we're able to then glide up onto the top of the nose. So... Let's do this again. I can at least get up onto the eyes there. I can utilize that to get back to where I was before. Uh, okay, this is not really where I wanted to be, but I think I can do this from here. I think that if I lower the nose from here, I think I'm high enough that I can glide right onto it. This is the weird part about this. So, I need to come all the way down, actually. Nope, not that far down. Let's do it! Glide over! Uh, actually, let's go ahead and just bring it all the way down, after all. There we go, now we're there. We can bring it up. And this part can be a little bit glitchy. If you're not careful. I have fallen off of this thing several times on complete accident. Even though like I would stand here or something, it would then kick me off of it for whatever reason. <coughs> there we go. Now we're up. I just need to raise it high enough. 
Now we can activate the terminal. And finally, jump to the very top. Just one terminal remaining. <sighs> Faith in me. Let's notch it all the way so that it's straight. And now, we can just leap all the way and land on the very top of Divine Beast Varvuta. Up, right up here. I don't remember what I have to do from here though. I know there's malice, and so I'm gonna kill it. I may actually need to jump back. Because there's a chest over there. And the terminal is there. Oh yeah, I just have to go down there. That's it. So let's lower that again and make the leap back to the nose. Or the glide, rather. Yeah, that's right. That's what I wanted at. Let's just go ahead and glide on back to the nose. Because I need to do that again, but this time landing on the other side of his body. Go up two notches. I'm very careful not to get glitched off of this. I've had it happen before. All the way up. Oh boy. Don't fall off, Link. Oh, up so it's straight. Yes, yes, I know there's a treasure chest nearby. I'm working on it. Hang on. My Sheikah sensor is really going off here. Like, but, 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 you're going away from the treasure chest. Yes, I know I'm going away. I have to come up to it. <laughs> Ice arrows. Nice. Uh, there's still another treasure chest somewhere in this dungeon. So that's the thing. Alright, let's go hit this last terminal by jumping down here. There it is. Leap down here. I go this way. And there's Malice. Right there. Kill the cursed uh, Moblin head. And now we have to turn off the fire by using Magnesis. I'm just saying it again. I thought that was how you did it. <laughs> oh yeah, that just opened that up. Right. Now I have to position the water that pours in through that hole now. Not enough. Oh, I actually missed it. There it is. Wash the fire away. Alright, we can lower his schnoz all the way back down now. Because we shouldn't need to get back up there. And even if we do, we should be able to reach his different pieces. Or her. I'm not really sure. I guess her, because it's Varuda. So... I mean, it's a robot, terminals. so does it really have a gender? The main control unit. There should be a new glowing mark on your map. Head there. Be careful not to let your guard let your car down. Well, there are still treasure chests. Oh, right, because I didn't actually get this one yet. Duh. Thought I claimed that one. Yeah, the inventory's full. That's unfortunate. Um just drop this for now and we'll come back to it 
There's still treasure chests. Actually, that's better than the guardian spear, so we'll keep hold of that. Where is this other... Oh, wait. Nope. Never mind. Never mind. The sensor just turned off. How about that? Could no longer detect a treasure chest. Um, alright. Well, all that's left then is the boss. Um, we don't have time for that in this episode. So we'll handle that in the next episode. Um, I hope you have enjoyed. If you did, feel free to check the video description below for a link to the playlist. That way you can catch up on any episodes you have missed. And I'll see you all next time when we fight the second form of Ganon. See you later!